you are watching the desperate attempt to save a COVID patient's life. This 75-year-old woman is having serious trouble breathing and is in desperate need of oxygen. So this patient was being maintained on non-invasive ventilation uh, and unfortunately failed. And so uh, we had to transition to uh, mechanical ventilation, which requires placement of a airway within the endotrachea, uh, within the uh, trachea, the windpipe. Um, so the patient has to be sedated to allow us to uh, access the airway. Dr. Hudman Ho is a pulmonologist and the medical director of the ICU at St. Anthony's Hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. As the patient's oxygen levels dropped, doctors quickly prepared to intubate her so they could get her on a ventilator to help her breathe. The process involves a slender surgical probe known as a stylet. He uh, uses he has a stylet that goes in uh, the tube to maintain some rigidity so he can guide where the tube goes. And uh, he uses a laryngoscope blade to lift the tongue out of the way so he can visualize it. And uh, it's actually a fiber optic visu visualization. There's a little camera at the end of the, the laryngoscope blade so he can visualize the airway and guide the uh, tube into place. It has to be precise, yet time is of the essence. Lives are on the line. For this patient, a second chance. Later, we learned she had received her first dose of the vaccine, but got COVID while waiting for her second shot. Still, most patients here are unvaccinated. Across the BayCare hospital system, which includes St. Anthony's, hospitalizations have increased tenfold since the beginning of July, and about 85% of the ICU patients are unvaccinated. Do they express regret that they're not vaccinated? We have had patients that come and request, uh, can I get a vaccine now? Um, but they don't understand that you know, it's something that's meant to be preventative and once you have the disease, it, it's not helpful. Dr. Warren Abel, a critical care physician in the ICU, calls the pandemic, quote, our World War II. Unvaccinated patients as young as 20 years old dying before his eyes. Every person that, that passes away that was unvaccinated, it's, um, it's a preventable death. It's very, uh, it's, um, it's heartbreaking actually. 27 of the 28 ICU beds here are filled with COVID patients. Good morning. And far too many are on ventilators, like this woman. Can you nod your head for me? There you are. All right, good. Almost always before they get intubated, they want to call their loved ones to uh, tell them they love them and say goodbye. And unfortunately, oftentimes that's the last time they speak to them. I walk down the hall and almost all of our patients are on their bellies to help them breathe. The hospital tells me they have dipped into their hurricane supply of ventilators, which they usually hold aside for the storms. They're also using these refrigerated mobile units for morgues. And there are also funeral homes in the area that are feeling the impact. We spoke to the funeral director of Wilson Funeral Home, and he told me not only has he buried friends, but he is also running out of caskets. He's now ordering multiple caskets every day, and he's finding it hard to even schedule funerals because the cemeteries are so overbooked. Randy Kay, CNN, Tampa.